Welcome back. Today in the vise, I'm going to be tying up the 9-3. Uh, this is a really cool pattern because of the feather orientation. I'm just going to start some UTC thread at the hook eye in white. Uh, this is 210. I'm just going to snip off the tag once I get down to the barb of the hook. Grab a 30-pound piece of monofilament. I'm going to cut this one a little shorter than usual because my black feathers are all pretty short. So... I'm just going to slide this through the hook eye, take a few wraps forward, make sure this stays on the bottom. All right, looks pretty good, pretty straight and even. I'm going to grab a piece of small silver tinsel. I've got two sided here, so I'm going to tie it silver side down. Gonna take some wraps over that down towards the barb of the hook. All right. Once I get here, I'm just gonna take the tinsel and wrap forward. I'm gonna leave my thread here as a guide to help me wrap. All right, bind down the tinsel. And then I'll snip it off. Now I'm just going to build up a nice head here with the white. Now this pattern was originally created by Dr. Herbert Sanborn of Waterville, Maine. And it got its name, the 9-3, after the 9-pound, 3-ounce salmon it caught at a Belgrade lake. All right, now that I've got this head done, I'm just going to grab my tool and show you a little magic trick here, guys. And that's one way you can finish these with the, uh, a tool like this. I know there's a lot of different whip finish tools. All right, snip the thread off and take it out of the vise. I'm going to grab my front hook, which is going to be a size 6 nymph wet hook. Excuse me, a size 6 nymph streamer hook. Put that in the vise. Start the same thread, some 210 white UTC thread at the hook eye. Work my way down. Just try to get them fairly even. And once you get down here to the back, snip off your tag. All right, I'm going to grab the back hook I just made. I'm going to Flip mine upside down. You can have yours upside down or right side up. It's totally up to you. And I think I kind of messed up the length a little bit. Looks like my feathers are going to be about this long. So I'll have to pull my mono back from the hook eye a little bit further than usual. All right, I'm just going to grab a piece of tinsel here. Tie this in at the hook eye. Work my way down. One thing that's kind of cool about this fly is uh, it's one of the most popular tandem style flies. Uh, it was originally created as a tandem fly, which I thought was pretty suiting since... That's what I've been doing on this channel lately is a lot of tandem, so. All right, I'm just going to wrap this uh, silver tinsel forward, try to get the turns as even as possible. It's the best I'm going to do on that little hump there. All right, bind this down. 
I like to go in front and behind of the material, grab my scissors and snip it off. I'm just going to adjust the hooks like this. That gets it riding a little straighter. So I'm going to throw a finish in here just to save my work. And now I can snip this white thread off and grab my 70 denier black thread, a little smaller. A little easier to work with here. And I'll snip that off. And actually, just as soon as I put that on, I realized I forgot to coat these bodies with something. So I'm going to put some Sally Hansen's on last minute. Put it on the front and the back. And that's just going to help secure the uh, thread wraps on the head and the tinsel. And I do recommend two coats of this if you really want to make this thing bulletproof. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. All right, I'm just going to come back with some natural bucktail, and I'm going to grab some white here. This is one I tanned myself, salted it rather. I've cut off a clump here. I'm going to pull out the short hairs, try to get a nice uh, even clump here where all the hairs are the same length. You could use a hair stacker if you wanted. I just pull mine out. And that looks about good there. So I'm just going to set this on top here. Take a loose wrap over the top and a few more forward. I'm going to bring the thread back to where I started. All right, so now this is where things get kind of interesting. Uh, this pattern actually calls for five feathers. Three of these green ones are going to go flat. We're, so this is a totally unorthodox pattern. I'm just going to grab my scissors and snip this bucktail off here and uh, take a few wraps forward to cover it up. All right, so I'm going to pick my green feathers up, and I'm just going to try to measure out the length here because this set of three is a little too long. So basically where I'm pinching them right now, I'm going to pull all those fibers off. So just line them up. And strip all the fibers off. Alright, now I've got all that web pulled off the bottom. So these should be the correct size. So I'm going to set all three of them on top. Normally we'd tie them in like this, Rangely Streamer style. But this is a unique pattern. I'm going to flip it like this. I'm going to tie it in flat on top like this. And that's going to give it a really unique motion, uh, back and forth like motion. So just take a few loose wraps over the top here. All right, so now I'm going to grab some jungle cock feathers and some black saddle hackle feathers. And I'm going to build up the top wing here. This is just going to be two black saddle hackles. And then I'm going to take those jungle cock feathers and I'm going to glue them on It looks something like this with the jungle cock on there. 
So strip the fluff, the white fluff off the bottom of the jungle cock all the way up to the white part of the eye. Do the same to the other side. So now I've got two jungle cock feathers and I'm just gonna place both of them on like this. Looks good. So I'm gonna grab my Duco cement. We're just gonna put a small dab here on my jungle cock. Place that at the base of the black feather here and press down. So there we have it, all glued on and ready to go. Now I gotta grab the other side, do the same, put some glue on the jungle cock feather, place that on, and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna grab both sides here once the glue dries. I'm gonna set them on like so. Make sure the length is right. Take a few loose wraps over it. And forward. Take a look at it. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to bend these stems up and snip them off. Trim this head up a little bit. All right, now just grab the black thread again and build up a nice even head here. There we go, that's starting to look pretty good. So I'm gonna whip finish. Snip off my thread. And put some coating on the head here, some Sally Hansen's. That's what I'm gonna use. And once this dries, I'll put another coat of Sally Hansen's on and it will stay shiny like this. And that's it, guys. That is the finished 9-3 tandem feather wing streamer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This fly is a great choice for trolling. The unique flat style of those three green feathers gives it a really unique motion in the water and sets it apart from the other Rangely style patterns. If you guys like this video hit the like button if you learned something leave a comment i always appreciate you guys watching hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you next time